Hostgator versus Hostinger. In today's video, I'm going to compare these two web hosting companies so that you can make the best educated decision to which web hosting company you want to choose. What I'm going to do is compare the pricing and features and then finally give you my personal opinion to which platform is the better one. If you appreciate that, leave a like on the video and let's get started. Now right off the bat, if I go to Hostgator and then WordPress hosting, because most of the people are going to do WordPress hosting and scroll down, you'll see that Hostgator is an affordable web hosting company. They're offering plans from $5.95 per month all the way up to $9.95. Now let's take a look at what that will give you. So for the cheapest plan, which is a starter plan, you can get 40% off as of right now. And that will give you one site up to 100K visits per month, one GB of backups, a free SSL certificate and a free domain. That is awesome. Honestly, that's a really good offer already. If we compare that to Hostinger, here we are. If I scroll down go to WordPress hosting, you can see that these guys are even cheaper. However, there are a few limitations with this. You can see that it's only $1.99 per month. That must be one of the cheapest options out here. That will give you a website, 30 GB of SSD storage, 10K, uh, 10K visits monthly. If we compare that, you can see for um, six bucks, you'll get 100K visits. And here it's $8 for 100K visits. So in that specific element, Hostgator is a bit cheaper. You'll get one email account. You will get a free SSL. So once again, that is also included on Hostgator. So an SSL certificate is pretty much the like verification, making sure that your website is secure so that it doesn't look sketchy. You'll get 100 GB of bandwidth. You won't get a free domain for this one which is not great, but this one does offer a free domain. So honestly, guys, this one right here is going to be a single WordPress one, two bucks per month. I would always recommend going with this one because it's three bucks and you can see the differences are just worth it. Like 99 more website, uh, 70 GB more storage. You can get um, 25K visits and all of this stuff is included. So honestly, this is like the goaded plan on Hostinger. Now, if we compare that once again, to Hostgator, you'll see that the cheapest plan here, if I do compare all plans, is six bucks per month. Now let's see, is that already it? Yep, I guess so. I'm not sure or it's not working. So the cheapest one is six bucks. And here, if you go to three bucks, you'll get all of these features, including free emails, free SSLs, free domains, unlimited bandwidth, Google Ads credit, a managed WordPress, WordPress multi-site, 30, day ma uh, 30 days money back guarantee. So you just get the best features out there and pretty much all you need. Now, we're, I mean, Hostgator has a 45 day money back guarantee, as you can see, so that's a little bit more. Now let's take a look at the actual speed and the uptime because that's really important. Now both platforms offer you a 99.9% .9 uptime. As you can see on Hostgator, I was able to find it on the feature list, 99.9% .9 uptime. The best ability is availability. So we make sure your site, stay, your site stays up, my bad. And on Hostinger, they also offer 99.9%. .9 I've done my research, I'm not able to find it on the specific pages here, let's see. So I can't really find it right away, but I do know it's 99.9% .9 on Hostinger as well. So in that specific element, it's gonna be a tie. Now let's take a look at the support. So if you're gonna go with a company, it's really important to get great support. As you can see on Hostgator, they're offering 24 seven 365 support. However, in my opinion, and from things I've been able to tell on reviews and from other people as well, Hostgator in terms of support is not the best. It can take a while for them to get back to you, even though they've got 24 seven support. If we go to Hostinger, Hostinger is the clear winner in terms of support. You can see that if I scroll down, they also have 24 seven support. However, this is professional and hands-on, and they've got a dedicated team of experts that are trying to, like, they're just hired, they're there. Their job is to help you solve your technical issues to get your website up and running any time. So in terms of uh, in terms of the so in terms of support, Hostinger is definitely better than Hostgator. Which platform is better for speed, Hostinger or Hostgator? In my opinion, and from what I've been able to tell, looking at stats and performance, Hostinger is better than Hostgator in terms of the speed because they've got global servers. Now that means that the speed, no matter where you are, and just globally, like from a global perspective. Hostinger is going to be better, so they're going to give you a better performance.
Both platforms, so Hostinger as well as HostGator, like I said, offer very cheap hosting compared to other uh, web hosting companies out there. However, which one is going to be the best? Is it going to be HostGator or is it going to be Hostinger? Let's take a look at the most important features that they've got and then let's make up our conclusion. In terms of pricing, Hostinger is going to be the clear winner. If I scroll down, once again, you'll get very cheap packages with a lot of good features that you also get on HostGator. So in terms of pricing, Hostinger is the clear winner. In terms of the performance and speed, once again, Hostinger is going to win. The global servers are going to be better for Hostinger. The downtime is going to be a tie. Like I said, both of them offer 99.9% .9 uptime. So the downtime and uptime is going to be a tie. So there's no difference in that. However, like I said, the speed and the performance is going to be Hostinger. Hostgator is offering you domains web hosting and website building within one platform for affordable prices and they've got a 45 day money back guarantee. Overall, that makes up for an amazing platform. Hostinger also has that. They've got cheap plans. So for a beginner that doesn't have that much budget, Hostinger is pretty much amazing because look at how cheap this actually is. It's really easy to use. They've got a great hosting service. They've got a great hosting service. Their global servers are amazing, which will give you a great website performance. And overall, I would choose Hostinger over HostGator. Now, apart from that, I do want to mention that whichever platform you choose to go with, you'll be in safe hands. It's not as if HostGator is a really bad one or Hostinger itself is not the best of the best out there. Like I said, both of these platforms are going to be able to deliver you a good service. So even though you're not sure which one to go with, don't panic about it. If you're going to go with HostGator, you'll have that money back guarantee of 45 days. And it's still an amazing platform that you can use, which is why it's one of the most popular ones out there. Now, the same goes for Hostinger. It's still, like I said, I'm going to go with this one. It's still a great platform, but it's not that HostGator isn't good at all. So which company is the better one? In my opinion, it's got to be Hostinger. Like I said, they're great for beginners. They are really cheap. They offer a free SSL, free domains. They offer a lot of free stuff and good features and their support team is outstanding. That definitely outshines Hostgator. So in my opinion, I would go with Hostinger any day of the week. But hey, that's just my personal opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Please consider leaving a like on this video because like I said, I'm not getting paid to say any of this. So that would help me out in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much and then I'll see you in the next video. You can also click on one of the videos on the screen right now to check out the playlist of comparing web hosting companies to find out the best company for you. I'll see you there.